using Squirk now for about four years and the teachers have really taken to Squirk. Um, it's one of, the, one of the resources that we use here in the school to just provide a rich, uh, real and relevant uh, curriculum. I can go into the website and all the information is already there for me. They've got animations, they've got worksheets, they've got interactive activities, activities for the children to do on their laptops that they really love. The most valuable thing for me I find would be the animations on Squirk. They explain a lot of concepts to the children and they're really motivating. Um, as soon as the children watch something on Squirk, they're really quite excited to learn about it. When I um, log into Squirk, they all scream. Okay. 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 Once I've calmed them down, they're glued to the smart board and they are ready. Um, the children come from a visual world and so having an animation to explain it as opposed to me doing diagrams on the board is so much more child friendly. It's easy for me, I'm not having to recreate the wheel. And you can do, also do it at home and that's really fun because if you if you're sick, you can also do it at home and still learn. Because it's pitched at such a good level, the kids really understand it and I think a lot of high school students are now using it for the same reason. After certain lessons, I say to the kids, you know, go home and you can squirk it at home if you need help on how to write your essay. It's got it all there. Because it's on our school website, they have access to it whenever they want. When we normally start uh, science, we start off with the squirt, give them an overview of what is happening, like for example today's lesson with convection current. Give them a video and then um, and after that we normally do the experiment and then come back and actually ask the kids to do the pop test. What I love about squirt, um, it really helps me in my assessments, helped me a lot with my science and my history, managed to get like all straight A's in my history and science. I like it, love it. Who wants to have a guess? Oh. Me. Oh yes. Liam, what do you think? Less than, between two or three, or more than three? Uh, I reckon less than two. Less than two? Well done, Liam. With the animations, they, they give you a lot of information. You sort of like learn something new every day. So we're going to do some counting forwards and backwards. Move along the chart this way, we can count forwards. Let's count forward. Having it spoken for you um, and the children can follow along is something that is a huge um, beneficial resource. I like all the animations. They're easy to understand and so it's easy to do my work. And also I find it quite good for those moments in class where you've got five minutes to go and the bell's ringing and you just don't know what to do. Squirk is the answer. It is very motivating. It's bright, it's colourful, um, it's noisy. All the things that the kids love. Squirk, it works, they love it.